welcome to the spring edition of Counselor's Corner. I'm Jill English and this is Lori Hallberg. And today we are here to give you information from the counseling centers at Dow High School and Midland High School. We are now in the final marking period of the school year. So this would be a good time to start checking Home Access Center on a regular basis. It's really important for students and parents to be monitoring um, their progress in each class at this time to make sure that they're staying up on assignments and that they are receiving a passing grade at this point. And this would be a good time for parents to contact teachers if they have any questions regarding their students' progress in any class. Also during this time, we will beginning some, be beginning something new this year called MSTEP. And this is part of the state standardized testing and it will begin at both high schools in mid-April. This will affect all juniors. They've already taken two days of testing. They've done the ACT and the work keys. And the M step will be an online portion. It will include four days of testing online for each junior in the high schools. And they will be testing for two hours in each of those four day time periods. So really eight, eight hours total for each junior. And this will be in the middle of April. Another thing that will be affecting juniors will be uh, registering for Parchment. Parchment is the online transcript program that is used when these juniors actually become seniors and they start getting ready to send their transcripts onto colleges. So the counselors will help them get registered with a username and a password. We will teach them how to go on and request a transcript and then beginning really after August 1st, they could begin requesting a transcript to send to colleges that they plan to apply for. In addition to registering for parchment, the counselor, counselors will also be doing a college search with all of the juniors or helping them with post-secondary plans after high school. And lastly, to kind of round out the school year, another big portion that the counselors will be doing will be running the AP and the IB testing. So this would be something that the students would have already registered for by spring break. So they would have registered by the end of March um, to take any AP or IB tests that they plan to do. They will be testing in the month of May. And the students will be given specific times and places to report for these tests. And depending on their scores, they could potentially earn some college credit. I know seniors are really excited for the end of the year and want, looking forward to what is the next step. But before they leave us, we have one more form for them to fill out, and we call it our Senior Exit Form. It's just a sheet that lets us know where each student wants to go or what their plans are for after high school. And along with that, we also ask them to write down any scholarship money that they were offered, even if it's from a, a college that they are not going to attend. We like to add, a, add up this amount and see how much money was offered to the senior class. Um, one more thing that seniors need to do who are planning to attend college th the following year is that they need to send their final transcripts. And Jill talked about using parchment. Seniors will go on to parchment and request their final transcript to be sent to whichever college or post-secondary area they're going to be attending next year. So seniors are looking to get on to the next level where current eighth graders are looking to move up into the high school. So we have ninth grade orientation. Both schools have an orientation for incoming ninth graders. At Dow High, it's done in May, and at Midland High, it's done in August. And this gives incoming ninth graders a chance to get into the building, have a tour, just to feel a little more comfortable with what the next year is going to bring for them. Another thing that a lot of students do over the summertime is they volunteer at different places. We do not have a specific volunteer form, but it's always a good idea to keep track of those hours. Sometimes on different applications for scholarships or um, college applications or even job applications may ask if you've done any volunteer work. And so I would just recommend keeping track of where you volunteered, how many hours, and what type of volunteer work you did. One other thing that mostly juniors would do over the summer is to visit different colleges and get an idea of where are they looking to go the following year. To do that you can obviously just go to the college but if you make plans ahead of time then you're able to see more and to get a better feel for the school. 
If you go to the individual college's website, sometimes they have specific dates set up so that you can go on a certain date. They have tours already, already set up and uh, maybe visit the classroom, see what the dorm is like, have lunch in the cafeteria, um, talk to students, professors, just get a good feel for what the college is about. And it's good to do this to really get a feel for the college because you can read about it or see pictures, but until you go and visit it, you don't really know if that's where you want to spend your, your time or not. So this concludes our uh, Counselor's Corner. Join us in the fall when we will return with more information for you.